All right, so today um, I want to kind of redo um, something. I lift away Luke. I'll actually have his uh, channel link in the description. He did a Dyson DC33 that's eight years old versus a Shark um, Z561. Oh, if you don't know what that is, it's a Shark um, lift away zero atom, like the one that comes in red and blue. Um, so he did an eight year old DC33 versus that. And I wanted to redo it. I wanted to see if I can mirror the results. Um, please go check out his video to see how they did. Um, it's a really good video. It's not very long and it's pretty good. Now, I don't have a Shark Zero M. Uh, I do, well, I, I have a Shark Apex with Zero M and Duo Clean, but I thought, well, that could, so the Zero M would be the same, but the the um, the dual clean could maybe not be exact. So then I got the, the, the normal lift away, just to compare that. And I have a DC-14, not a DC-33. Now, the DC-14 is actually better than the 33. And let me quickly explain why. Um, it's made of a little bit better materials. The wand is metal and DC-33 is plastic. Not that big of a deal there. But the DC-14 actually has more power. Has more suction and airflow. Now, DC... 14 to begin with doesn't have that much airflow, but I think around the nozzle it gets like 55, 60, something like that. So quickly, let me run through the suction of these machines. DC 14, I think is 114 inches. Uh, Nav Navigator gets 96 and the Apex gets 98. So the Sharks are 94, I think for the lift away. So they're all pretty similar. And I would also like to mention that these are all newly serviced. Um, the Shark filter, this was washed very thoroughly. The dirt that's on there is permanently on the filter and will never come off. And I just want to make this as fair as possible. That filter is also freshly washed. And this filter, it was vacuumed out, but I really have to be careful with it because I need to get a new one for it because it's kind of falling apart. But this bin was completely serviced. The cyclone is completely clean and all that. On all the brush rolls on these are clean and so everything is good. So we have a use, what, what was the name of this mix? The outside mix? Um, I don't use it anymore. I just use it to test vacuums now. It's kind of hard to see because it's all on this carpet. It's a little hard. I'm also, these vacuums are in the direction that lifts the pile of this carpet. Also, I'd like to mention that the DC-14 spring does work for the cleaner head. So, just so you know about that. Okay. I will do the apex first. And I will be plugging it into an extension cord, so it will be losing about, like, six to eight uh, inches of water lift, just so you know. Because when you plug into an extension cord, the vacuum loses a little bit of power. Okay, we'll do the apex first. They're gonna get one forward and back pass. I'll give you a close-up at the end once all these tests are completed. All right. We'll do the lift away next. And these bin latches are now latched down, just so you know. Sometimes I don't use it latched, but today I am. To make this test as, as you know, fair as possible. Suction relief valve is closed, or the, the suction um, valve is closed. <laughs> Honestly, it doesn't 
doesn't sound great. I don't know why the Miami 352 is getting a bad motor. But, you know, one cyclone, so. All right, so that actually did a lot better than the Apex, mainly because the Apex brush roll doesn't spin quite as fast, which is why the Apex is not as good as deep cleaning. Okay, next to DC-14. I'd also like to point out, this is not the same mix that Luke used, it's just, it's all relative. a winner. I already know who's the winner. The NV352 is the winner. And let me give you a close-up. So here's what the Apex did. Cleaning path is here. So you can see that it missed quite a bit. I mean, this is kind of a hard mix to pick up. But if you, if you look at the NV352, it missed a, maybe a little bit up here. But it's all actually quite clean. And this... It did well. You can see where the where the lines are on the base plate. And just so you can see the base plate, this brush roll's clean. You can see where those lines were, so. And that brush roll's actually just greased up, so it's actually not bad. So yeah, Lift Away did the best. And second is going to be the DC-14, and third, the Apex. The Apex, honestly, since I've gotten it, I've always thought, well, it's not it's not a great machine. I mean, it's good, but it's not amazing. So, to clean the rest of this up, I think we're going to use the DC-14, because it's already out, <laughs> really, that's the only reason. <laughs> just to compare um so that's the apex navigator and dc14 navigator did do the best dc14 second apex did the worst so yeah um thanks for watching oh also i'd like to mention that the vacuum with the best agitation won then you 352 and the apex it just doesn't agitate well all duo cleans don't agitate well well honestly Dual cleans and zero M's combined are really bad for agitation. They just don't agitate. And the DC-14, you know, it's, it's always been just so-so. So, yeah, um, thanks for watching. And stay tuned for more videos. And go check out Little Luke's... Nope, not Little... Oh, my God, nope. <sighs> Lift Away Luke. Oh, my God. Go check out Lift Away Luke's channel. It'll be in the description. Thanks for watching.